Today, I'm attempting to upgrade this epic chameleon Game Boy Color with an awesome backlit IPS display as well as some matching chameleon buttons for 2024. As a bonus, we're also going to unbox and test this multi-game cartridge that fits into the Game Boy and allows it to use SD cards. So stick around to the end. <laughs> My wife's really been enjoying playing this cool Game Boy Color that we upgraded the shell in this short video here if you missed it. However, we have not been able to play it in the dark due to its standard display. As you can see, this actually has its own screen lens laminated onto it, which is great because it means we can't possibly get any dust trapped under it. But before we go to the trouble and potentially make this screen no longer usable, we are of course going to test this with our motherboard to make sure that it is functioning. Here we go. It is not powering on. Still nothing. That's not a good sign. Okay, I'm a little bit baffled as to why it's not turning on when it's brand new. So I'm gonna remove this and just double check with the old screen. It does indeed, you see that there? So there is a chance that this is just straight up dead on arrival, which is very unfortunate. So one other thing that I might try is a different set of batteries. Let's give these a shot and hopefully that'll fix the issue. Still nothing on that display. I've just verified on the display testing guidelines for this particular display that they do not appear to need to connect the two points by wire. But just to be absolutely certain, I am going to use a temporary solution to connect them, which is this soldering paste, which is thermally conductive without being permanent. So we're just going to quickly do that so we're not committing to damaging this. Still nothing. So I truly believe that we have unfortunately received a faulty display, which means we are going to have to send that one back. So I am just going to say that is a testament to the importance of actually testing your fit and whether it works before committing to installing it. So I will be sending this one back to retro modding and getting a new one. And in the meantime, we still have our old display. Now, let's get our new chameleon buttons installed. And here is our gorgeous chameleon Game Boy Color with these breathtaking new green chameleon buttons as well. Freshly groomed bubble says ram that like button because now it's time for the bonus where we take a look at this epic multi-game cartridge for the Game Boy Color. Please don't eat it bubble. So let's take a look at it. The Game GB Pro. Now I will of course be leaving links to all of the parts that you've seen today in the description below. And by the way, I get most of my custom parts off retromodding.com and I've been fortunate enough to secure a custom discount code for you guys so that you can save a bit of money. So make sure you use the code GOAT at checkout on retromodding.com so you can save when you purchase Game Boy parts. Now, this particular item I actually scored on AliExpress for I think it was about $20 or $30, uh, which is much more affordable than some of the other options. But if you've seen my original Ultimate Game Boy Advance video, which is here if you missed it, you know that most of the time I prefer to use the Easy Flash Omega. Well, this time I thought I'd give a smaller brand a try. So we're going to see if this thing can actually do what it claims. So first thing I'm noticing is that it actually comes with an SD card, which it didn't 
uh, advertise in the listing. So that's a big plus. There it is, the GB Pro. Okay, and uh, oh, hey, wait a minute. Oh, that's a way lamer sticker. I definitely want to put this one on. Much better. Okay, well, since it came with an SD card, what is actually installed on here? As I said, I wasn't expecting there to be a card at all. So why don't we plug it in and see what happens when we turn it on. Disk initialize, okay. So we've got Game Boy and Game Boy Color Chinese local localization. Okay, let's just go this one. Oh. All right, well, I'm gonna go and put some of my game ROMs on here, legally acquired, of course, and we'll be back to see what happens. Okay, we are back, and holy crap. When I plugged the SD card from here into my computer, it turns out there was a ton of games on here in those two folders that we checked out. We just couldn't access them. So I've gone ahead and dragged one into the root directory, so we are gonna check this out. Okay, so there it is, Bomberman. Okay, so that's the one I've loaded. Let's see what it does. Can we start it? Nothing. Is there anything? What else could I possibly press? A, B, oh, whoa, 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 no. Did I just, hang on, I pressed B. Did I just erase it? Oh, check it out. There we go. So B is the confirm button. This is working, guys. Let's go back to this home directory and try and get into one of those two folders. And I think we'll find. So, yep, let's go the GBO one. So was it B? That, oh. oh, so A is back. Damn, that's confusing. Okay, B to go in. So now we find one of these. Wait, what? How do we? Okay, yep. So left and right to swap pages. Look at all these games, guys. Good Lord. Oh, Battletoads. Here we go. B. So load and start, B. So it's it's like writing and erasing to the chip on the back here before it boots the game. Really, really interesting. Okay, I've gone and put a few of my own games on the SD that came with this uh, Game Boy cartridge. So let's see if this will work. All right. So first of all, we have Wario Land 3, which is a standard Game Boy Color game. Man, that erase really scares me when it when it comes up. So I think that's just clearing off the memory of the actual cartridge and then it's going to load on this Wario. Yeah, so it's writing it on now. So obviously this is, you know, it's a little bit inconvenient that it, that you have to wait for it to do this each time. Uh, you know, whereas if you get something like the Easy Flash Omega, like the one I showed you earlier, you never have to wait for stuff like this. But it looks like it is working. So let's take a look. There it is. There's Wario Land 3 for Game Boy Color. So Mario Bros, let's go. All right, let's just reboot it. Why does it not check, like, if it was already the last game that you played? I'm pleased to report that I was mistaken, and here's how to load the last played game without the need to delete and write the same ROM. You just press start, and if you've played something before, it will load that game. Now, as you can see here, this is Pokemon Crystal Clear, and I'm playing this one just to demonstrate that this cartridge can handle ROM hacks, which is pretty cool. Although I must add that if we go to continue from my save file, you'll see that the clock's time may be wrong. So to me, that suggests that the little battery here is not working to save the time. So what are the pros and cons of the GB Pro Plus? Well, let's start with the pros. It is very affordable at just $20 or $30. That's a fraction of the price of the leading brands like Easy Flash or EverDrive. Secondly, it came with an SD card, which was really quite impressive. And on that SD card was a ton of games as well. So that's a big plus. And uh, saving also works. So those are the good things about this device. As for the cons, um, it was very, very slow to load. As you saw, it could be quite painful for some of you, I imagine. Uh, the unintuitive button scheme, you know, B is A and A is B. I wasn't really a fan of that. 
And finally, there's some quality issues you might be able to see up here. Look at that. Mine's like melted somehow. This is brand new and it's melted. So anyway, um, if you want to get um, your games loading for the maximum speed, like most of you will, if you are willing to pay a little bit extra, I would recommend going with an Easy Flash or an EverDrive for the Game Boy Color. Do you have any suggestions of Game Boy Color games for me? Let me know in the comments below and I might be able to put them on my GB Pro Plus and give them a test. Make sure you are a subscriber so you don't miss it once I return this to retro modding and hopefully get a replacement and make an installation video onto our Game Boy Color. Feel free to share this video with another retro gaming enthusiast and here's some more great content for you to watch next. Here's a link to our Patreon page if you'd like to support us further. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.